Shabbat Shalom, little Hebrews, and Boker Tov. This Shabbat, we will learn about the origins of Father's Day. In Exodus 20, verses 1 through 17, we learned Yah's Ten Commandments. And as you remember, commandment number five tells us to respect your father and mother so that your days may be long on the earth. This means that Yah wants each of us to be obedient and respect, honor, and love our fathers and mothers. Not only on one day each year, but every day, little Hebrews. So let's look at Father's Day. Father's Day began as a pagan holiday that was called the Great Sky Father's Day. This was a celebration that was a whole week long and it led up to the summer solstice. Now pagan believers took one of those days during that week to celebrate the Sky Father. They would thank him for giving his human children sunshine and rain. They would tie ribbons around the necks of goats and sheep and sacrifice them and pray for the Sky Father to keep guiding them. Little Hebrews, in ancient times, the people used the Soltis as their guide in making calendars to know when to grow crops, to understand the seasons like winter, spring, summer, and fall, and to understand the weather. Now, some people believed that the idea of Father's Day may have started in pagan sun worship. There are some branches of paganism that see the sun as the father of the universe. In June, the solstice happens around the same time of year as Father's Day. So some people see a connection between the two. It seems that although Christian priests, and you know, we know, that Christian priests worship idols. Well, they tried to get rid of the pagan rituals done during the celebration of the Great Sky Father's Day and the summer solstice. Parts of the ancient practice, such as tying ribbons around the necks of animals, was changed to giving neckties to fathers on Father's Day. Little Hebrews all over the world, pagans take one day each year to celebrate their fathers and grandfathers, uncles and brothers. Although Father's Day is celebrated on many different dates around the world, many countries celebrate Father's Day on the third Sunday in June. You know, this reminds me of the scripture in Revelation 12, verse 9, which tells us, And the great dragon was thrown out, that serpent of old called the devil or Shatan, who leads all the world astray. He was thrown to the earth, and his messengers were thrown out with him. Who leads the world astray? All over the world, pagans take one day to celebrate Father's Day. All over the world. The world is led astray. Little Hebrews on Father's Day, some people visit their fathers. Some people give cards and neckties and flowers or other gifts like clothing or sporting equipment and food. In Mexico, Father's Day is called Dia del Padre. And like the pagan holiday here in America, Mexican families get together, cook meals, and give gifts to fathers. 
Okay, here's where today's idea of a special day to honor fathers began in the United States. There was a woman named Sonora Smart Dodd. She was really excited about the American Mother's Day celebrations, so she planned a day to honor fathers. So in the United States, Father's Day has been celebrated in June since 1910. Now just remember, little Hebrews, Father's Day is not a feast day or festival that Yah told us to celebrate. So remember that commandment number five tells us we must respect our father and our mother so that our days may be long on the earth. Not just one day, little Hebrews, but we must respect our father and mother every day. So we tell them that we love them, and we pray that Yah continues to bless them. And with that, little Hebrews, that is our lesson about Father's Day, and now... We will ask you some questions.